And there was um, well. Here's another part of the article. <laughs> I was about to say in the, in the rest of the article, there's some more tidbits as well. Go ahead with what you were going to do. The board also is investigating allegations that WWE executive John Laurinaitis had a sexual relationship with the same former paralegal, according to people familiar with the inquiry. Additionally, the board is looking at a $1.5 million non-disclosure agreement reached in 2012 with an employee involving misconduct claims against Mr. Laurinaitis. Boom goes the dynamite! These people said. Mr. Laurinaitis, a former wrestler known as Johnny Ace, had been head of WWE talent relations for eight years when he was forced to step down in 2012 and take a smaller role at the company. His demotion came around the same time as the $1.5 million deal with the employee, who alleged she had an affair with Mr. Laurinaitis and that he demoted her after she broke it off. People familiar with the non-disclosure agreement said... Mr. McMahon had restored Mr. Laurinaitis as head of talent relations last year. (laughs) WWE has since placed Mr. Laurinaitis on administrative leave, a person familiar with the matter said. So, John Laurinaitis, in 2012, when he was head of talent relations before, ended up costing the, was that $1.5 million? Uh, That they know about right now, yes. Well, just in that incident, and was and remember around that time he was demoted or whatever the however they phrased it, but he we didn't know why, but it was obviously welcome news because he's a complete suck up yes man. But then seven years later, eight years later, whatever it was, Vince decides let's bring back John Laurinaitis, and somebody in that company had to say, well. Remember that he, about seven or eight years ago, cost us one and a half million dollars because he had an inappropriate relationship with one of the employees, and now you want to return him to the position of the head of talent relations where he has to relate and have relations with all the talent. I know the perfect person to put with him. I know the perfect person that could keep him in line. And Vince himself puts him in there and Vince himself gets a goddamn illegal paralegal and Vince himself transfers the illegal paralegal over to Laurinaitis to do the same goddamn thing. Wouldn't you know who won the pony? Or in this case, wouldn't you know who won the pussy? How does that make any sense? John Laurinaitis is not Vince McMahon. John Laurinaitis has never been named as the person that's most integral to the future of the WWE to their stockholders. Vince McMahon has. John Laurinaitis is not the guy that owns 80% of the company at all. All the voting fucking shares in the stock scam that they did, Vince McMahon is. John Laurinaitis is not the guy there that everybody still looks at like, shit, we don't want to get on his bad side. Vince McMahon is. So as far as I can tell, when he just did it two years ago, and it was a reprise from 10 years ago, and it's cost the company a couple of million dollars and a lot of bad publicity, I would get the idea that John Laurinaitis' desk has probably already been cleaned out. That's just me, though. I don't know. It seems like Vince is loyal to his fuck buddies. You never know. Well, but no, but then there comes the level of Trumpishness when they start cracking down on all the improprieties, and then all of a sudden, who was that? I never had her on Air Force One. I barely know that guy. Who was that? Vince, got Laurinaitis, wasn't he a road warrior? No, John, Johnny is, uh, he better take that big smile and those nice dimples and go apply to wash dishes at Denny's, because I don't think he's going to be back on the job for that company after finding a two of them 10 years apart, both facilitated by the same guy that's under investigation for another 10 or $12 million. He gets his power back right away. He's having an affair with his subordinate right away. How do you, (laughs) again, why do people even want to have a fucking affair with people that you have to look at in the office? What if, what if then you get stuck, regardless if you're even not mad at each other? Then you got to say, oh, boy, you look nice today, or whatever. 
It was easy at Sony. There were different elevator banks. Well, there you and and plus the music business, you know. Hey, rock and roll. <laughs>